Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I'd like to invite you to explore my first Burmese cookbook with me. I got it at the library. It's huge. It's going to be hard for me to kind of hold it up here. It's heavy. It's by Naomi Duguid, Duguid, Rivers of Flavor. Came out back in 2012, so I'm not sure what the photography will look like, but it's starting off with some cute kids. I wish I knew how to pronounce her name. I'm sure I, I should have looked it up. Naomi Duguid, I'm going to say, because she's doing good by writing a cookbook. Okay, let's check out the table of contents. Burma basics, salads, soups, mostly vegetables, fish and seafood, chicken, beef and pork, condiments and sauces, mostly rice, noodles, and sweet treats. And then at the back, Burma over time, and traveling in Burma, and a glossary. Okay, starting off. Introduction, I'll read it later when I'm not on camera. Here's a map, the place and the people. I'll definitely need to read that. This is my geography I'm very rusty on. Flavors and dishes. Rice meals. Sounds good to me. What does it say? Okay, let's read this part. This will be important. We need to know this. Okay. Most people in Burma have at least one daily meal centered around rice. Well, that's my kind of place. Usually it's the main meal of the day eaten at noon. The diversity of flavors and textures in a rice meal is wonderful. Even if I only order one curry at a little bus stand restaurant, it will come with not only rice, but also an array of condiments and sides, from a clear soup to fresh and steamed vegetables to chili paste and more. Sounds good to me. Burma Basics. You know, for a 2012 cookbook, this is gorgeous photos. I've seen some hideous ones lately. Okay, first recipe of the book, fried shallots and shallot oil, red chili oil. Ooh. Ooh, chili choices. Huh, I'm such a spice wimp, I don't know if I can handle it. Ooh, umami, dried shrimp powder, toasted chickpea flour. I suspect that my home pantry is not ready for this cookbook. Chopped roasted peanuts. Oh. Tart sweet chili garlic sauce. Oh, I bet that's delicious. Fermented soybean paste. Uh, soybean discs. What? Is that what they look like? I'm so confused. Cooking with them. Now we're in the salads chapter. What kind of... Okay. What kind of salads do they eat in Burma? They eat intensely green spinach and tomato salad with peanuts. They eat succulent grapefruit or pomelo salad. Oh, there's the pictures that I was about to start whining that they didn't have any. Tender green salad with crispy fried shallots or punchy, crunchy ginger salad. Shan tofu salad, long bean salad with peanuts, rice and prayer. Here is Chinese kale or broccoli rabe with pork cracklings. Banana flower salad. Ooh, a temple. Oh, okay. Green mango salad, etc. Tea leaf salad. Market by candlelight. Excuse me, there's a mosquito in my office. Shrimp salad. Poached fish salad with shallots and herbs. Chicken salad, Burma style. Now we're in the soups chapter. I love making soup. Ambrosial chicken broth with shallots. Lemongrass chicken soup with lima leaves. Lime leaves, excuse me. Bean thread soup. Fish soup with lemongrass and chilies. Hearty pork and vegetable soup, but the picture's small. Not all of these have, ooh, classic sour soup. I want a picture. Meeting monk. Here's a silky shan soup. Look at all that stuff in there, mmm. Very hearty. Chickpea soup with lemongrass and ginger was wondering if you could make chick chickpea soup. Mimi's bean soup with tender leaves. Mostly vegetables. Okay, this is my chapter as a vegetarian. Tamarind pumpkin curry. Traveler's eggplant curry. That would be good to come home to on a cold day. Time travel. I like these little inserts. Broccoli rabe with a hint of pork. Again. Mushroom and tomato curry. 
smoky napa stir fry, but no pictures. Vegetable medley, no pictures. Coriander tomato omelet. I'd love to see a picture. Golden egg curry. Yay, we have a picture and it looks delicious. And that's a lot of eggs. Is that one person? That's got to be a family dish that everyone takes from, right? Service four. Yeah. Deep fried chayote fingers or chayote paneer and tomato sauce. Pale yellow tofu. Deep fried shan tofu. I need more pictures. Fish and seafood chapter. Shrimp curry. River fish celebration. Kachin. Kachin. Carp curry with herbs. I don't know how to say that word. Sorry. Fish stew with aromatics. Let's keep going. Herb to catfish lop. Green chili paste. Chicken chapter. Okay. Village boys chicken. Chicken curry. Easy grilled chicken. We know how to make grilled chicken. Here's a beautiful photo. Skipping ahead. all Face patterns. We're going to learn a lot about Burma in this cookbook, aren't we? Chicken aloo. And here's Rhythms of Hapan. Not sure what that is. Homestyle fried chicken. Kachin or Kachin pounded beef with herbs. I need to look up what that word is. Sauce, spicy meat and potatoes. Simplest beef curry with shallots. Food geography lesson. Lemongrass ginger sliders. Spice rub jerky, condiments, and sauces. Okay, let's skip this chapter because we know what condiments and sauces look like. We're in a different chapter now because, well, no, chutney, cabbage, shallot refresher. Oh, now we're in the important part, mostly rice. Okay. Wow, that's a... After rice is harvested, the rice straw is gathered. Here, three Karen guys are tying the load of straw down before driving it back to their village in Karen State. Wow. I didn't know about rice straw. This is fried rice with shallots. Beautiful Buddhas. Oh my goodness. Beautiful temple, Buddha. Okay. Um, here is peanut and rice porridge. Perfumed coconut rice, rice batter crepes, tender flatbreads. Now we're in the noodle chapter. Coconut sauce noodles. Offerings at dawn. A temple with lots of monks. Uh, five spice powder. Ooh, noodles, noodles, noodles. Mandalay noodles for chicken curry. That's like what I think that was. Um, this is fried coconut strips. Did we end up in dessert chapter? I'm not sure. Yes, donut rings dipped in palm sugar syrup, but a small picture. Sticky buns with coconut, no picture. Come on! Tapioca coconut delight. Street side seductions, tiny, tiny picture. Looks like pancakes. Beautiful temple picture, but we're here for the food. Fried sesame seed bananas. Wow. Drinks in Burma. Tea shops, tea shop drinks, a glimpse of beer and liquor. Burma over time. Okay, we're at the back of the book where we learn about the history of it. That was pretty incredible. I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to go back through by myself off of camera and read this more thoroughly. Check out all the info. I think I'm going to keep this out of the library for about a week. It's going to take that long to go through all of it. Wow. I'll have to check and make sure nobody else has this on their hold list. I'm not being selfish. Ugh. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through and review. You can see more at cookbookdivas.com. We have a podcast called Cookbook Divas Podcast. <laughs> Not very inventive. We also post to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm sure you can find us on there. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click like and comment if you would like the algorithms to show you more of our posts. <laughs> Bye.